Hi and welcome to another video from Hackology. Um, you might be able to hear a little bit more background noise today, that's because we've got two machines up and running. And for today's video, we're going to be using Wireshark and a spare router to set up a Rogue AP. Now, normally Rogue APs are uh, set up in corporations so a hacker could gain access to the uh, internal network uh, without having to go through the firewall or um, company router. Uh, rogue access points can also be installed by employees for wireless so you can scan for wireless access points uh, inside uh, enterprises, businesses, homes, etc. Um, if they've been poorly configured, um, which is the case with most people that aren't too familiar with technology, um, they should be easy enough to access. Now today we're setting up a rogue AP on our own network but what we're going to do is rather than run it straight off the router or the network, we're going to bridge the connection on the PC and we're going to look at all the traffic going through using Wireshark. And, um, basically, this will teach you how to set up a uh, access point and sniff the traffic on the uh, access point. And we'll, we'll um, set the fake AP up uh, with relatively low security, you monitor the traffic going through this PC and um, we'll log on with a, a client just to show you that it all works with the concept. This can be done with wireless cards um, but we're going to do it with a spare router. Um, okay, so let's get started. And I'll just explain how I've got my network set up. At the moment this PC connects wirelessly to my router and that goes out onto the internet. Now, to set up this router, we're going to need to disconnect from this network because we're going to have conflicting IPs because the standard IP for this router will be 192.168.1.1 which is the same as my other router, so we need to change the IP of this router before we can use it on the network. Um, so, let's get started. I'm just going to give this some juice, pair it up, reset the router so we're going from scratch so you guys know exactly what to do and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, so we're going to take this from the top. <coughs> First thing you're going to need to do is reset the router. So we're going from the default settings. Right, router has been reset. And you'll need to put port 1 to a PC. So get into this one. to 192.168.1.101 Okay, um, okay, activate network, cancel, uh, I'll configure the router myself. Next. So the router is rebooting now and just setting the uh, default password. Okay, when you do this, I recommend you um, spend a little bit more time with your security settings and set the password for the reason. I'm just going to leave it the same on this one because um, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we're going to go get get the uh, IP address dynamically and get the. Um, DNS server dynamically for the moment. Right, we're going to go to wireless settings, ensure you've got your wireless enabled, click apply. Now at the moment there's no security which is good because it's a, a row access point. So uh, next thing to do is bridge the network connection to this. So you're going to need to um, connect this to the uh, network card that you're wanting to bridge. Make sure that when you bridging the connection you are going on to the input on the router. So yeah, run this into the back of my PC now. Okay and we're gonna get conflicts to start with. Uh, 
So we choose on this one. Bridge the connections, continue. Okay, so it's telling us that it's changed the IP address now because there was a conflict with the other router. So it says to avoid conflict, your router's IP address has been updated. Okay, so we're going to go uh, 10.0.0.1. And before we've got the settings set up automatically on this setup, we're just going to change a few things. Because at the moment it's using 1.0.1 and that's the IP of this machine. We don't want it to be the IP of this machine. We want it to be 102. So just change that and add your DNS 192.168.1.1 and click apply. And that's your network bridge completed. And we're just gonna test it and see that we can get um, Google up on this computer. And if we can get Google up, we mean that means everything is running sweet. Right, network bridge, now for the wire shock. <laughs> right, let's fire some screen capture up. Okay, so imagine this computer here is somebody who's stealing your internet. So, let's have a look at their data. Okay, so we're going to start a new capture in Wireshark. And we're just going to pull up the interface list. And if you look here, the Realtek is the device that uh, we have our router set up on. So if we start a capture on the um, network card running the router, and let's go to the host machine and go to, um, where should we go? We should go to www.youtube.com. And as I'm typing, you can see on this machine, we're getting lots and lots and lots and lots of packets. So, take for instance, um, if our unsuspecting guest goes to his WordPress site, WordPress, plug it up on the screen, and uh, there's one at the Okay, so we use the same one as we did yesterday, and this time we'll type admin and password. Login. So we just tried to log in doesn't matter that we don't know the password, we can now jump back over onto the uh, machine that's capturing the packets and um, we can do a little search so we can get a foreign packet. And there we go, that's the post using the same technique as yesterday but now monitoring traffic coming through a rogue access point. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We've got some more cool stuff coming up soon. We're going to be moving on to programming and backtrack. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have fun hacking. We'll be back.